Hello everybody. A great feature that can save you a ton of time once you've made a few maps that you like is making prefabs. These are made in the select tool, so we'll cover that to begin with. As always, check the description for a link to an article version of this video if you prefer reading or want a quick reference. The select tool is the bottom tool in the left hand sidebar. It lets you individually click on things on your map like objects, light sources and buildings, or drag to select multiple at once. Depending on what you have selected, you can copy and paste them, change their over-under setting, switch them to a different layer altogether, change their color if it's colorable, or just delete them. You can click and drag objects and light sources to move them, drag their corners to resize them, or click and drag just outside their highlighted box to rotate them. For most things in Dungeon Draft, clicking on it with the Select tool lets you change a lot of the original things you selected when you placed it. Now, you'll notice these two buttons in the middle here make prefab, and separate. A prefab is basically a group of objects and or light sources and patterns that you can place all at once rather than individually. So say you've stacked a bunch of barrels really nicely and use that in your taverns a lot, or you've carefully situated a light source on each candle on a shrine, or you've combined a bunch of different assets together cleverly to make something new, and you want easy access to it in the future. Click and drag to highlight all the objects, light sources, or patterns you want to include, then hit the Make Prefab button. A window will pop up with a few options. It will add your prefab to the default set to begin with, but if you want, you can hit the plus to create your own sets to keep them organized, and the minus key to delete a set. Then you can enter a name and hit Accept. If you click over to the Prefabs tab, just above the Select tool, you can choose whichever set, default or otherwise, you put your prefab in, Click on the one you want, then hit Place. The objects will be visible in the middle of your map, but you'll have to place them by clicking on the map where you want them to go. You can rotate and resize your prefab all as one convenient item, or if you want to split them apart, click on the group, and from the Select tool, hit Separate to break it up into its component objects. You can also hit Forget from the Prefabs menu to delete them. When you create a prefab, it will be saved here and will be there ready to go for you the next time you load up Dungeon Draft 2. Prefabs can be a huge time saver, especially once you've found some looks you really like incorporating into your maps, or you've made something unique. In the final part of this series, we're going to uncover the last of Dungeon Draft secrets by going over some map settings, how to trace an image, and how to export your map in a whole bunch of different ways. I'll see you in the next one.